started, most of us knew absolutely nothing about it. Um, when our young farmer Samantha came to visit, we just learnt so much about how important it is to Australia. So it makes up, the Australian wool industry makes up 20% of the world's uh, entire wool industry, which is just amazing and it gives you a sense of how important it is to our country and our economy. And I feel like the industry itself is overlooked quite a bit and all the different parts that go into it. So we learnt how many careers are involved in it um, and just how important it is to our country and how badly uh, it is being affected by climate change. What did you guys already know about the wool industry? Um, very little. Um, I knit a lot. That's about it. <laughs> I guess almost just the, the very like typical thing. Almost just the fact that it exists, mm -hmm. really. Like um, when we got our initial care package about with all the information about mm -hmm. where wool comes from and and the samples and what it can be turned into, it was quite amazing. Mm -hmm. When Samantha showed us, she was wearing um, like a shoe made out of wool. I thought that was really amazing. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought that an entire shoe could be made out of wool. Like, as we said, we didn't know anything about the wool industry. I, I don't even know what I imagined. I think I just imagined a bunch of people on a farm with sheep, you know, but when, yeah, well, when, when Samantha came, like, we, I didn't even know that her job, she's a wool broker, and she, I think she sells auctions wool. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that was a thing. And like, there's just so many different careers. And I think she was absolutely so inspiring. Like, she's winning awards, going to places like Italy, um, all for her job, and I just think that was really amazing to see because I didn't picture that at all, a young female farmer doing such amazing things. With all the art programs out there for um, students, why did you guys particularly pick the Archibald Prize? You know how we do a lot of stuff in Year 7, 8 and now 9 with STEAM, um, but it's targeted at the science, maths and art students. I think the Archibald Prize was our opportunity to um, incorporate a wider range of students from you know with different backgrounds and interests that put potentially weren't only studying those in that particular way, it just kind of gave us a little bit more creative freedom to um, to just get people interested rather than forcing people to do a large scale project like this. What did you hope that we would learn from this project? I really hoped you learned a whole bunch of new art making techniques and I guess appreciation for different uh, forms of art making as well, like we've talked about, the idea of the th painting on a 3D sculpture is quite uh, innovative and forward thinking so it's really nice to get young people to experiment with all these new forms of art making. I think that was probably the biggest takeaway and also learning about industries that make up a large part of our country. I think it's important that we all know about these aspects of our world. So, yeah. Can I add something yeah. to that as well? I think also, you know, being in year, um, you're in year seven, so um, we don't do a lot of conceptual art, so this is the opportunity for you to kind of really come up with an idea and, and execute it. Um, mm in a way that, that um, provides a message as well. Mm. We learned a lot of skills about painting and mm -hmm. kind of collaborating the whole big project. So um, especially in the brainstorming stage, it was really fun to kind of um, see everyone's ideas and incorporate them as well as um, actually putting that into the final art piece. Um, I think the whole like collaboration process was probably the best part of it. Yeah, and I think as well, it's a bit cliche, but we all, you know, met new people and made new friends. I thought that was really nice as well. A completely new like format of creating art, something yeah. that we don't really do in school, um, you know, especially with the 3D kind of aspect of it. Yeah, like most people can't say they've painted on it, <laughs> yeah. but I think we all got used to it, kind of. Have you ever done a project like this before? Uh, there was nothing when I was no. in high school that was remotely <laughs> in this sphere of the Archibald, so I really like seeing young people um, have a, like all these amazing new opportunities to participate in events like this because as I said my school never offered this mm. and none of my other local, like friends schools offered something like this so we're really lucky to kind of be offered things like this. So. And to have the yeah. engagement with the farmer as mm. well I thought that was pretty yeah. um, special. You don't get that opportunity to really talk with someone in the industry so much. Um, a lot of the time you just kind of do things and it's a bit insular in the school, yeah. but to have somebody from the industry come and talk is pretty cool. Um, do you think you learned anything from the students during this project? Um, I always, again, just like with all these projects, I love just seeing how dedicated you were, mm -hmm. and it just kind of reminds, always it's a really great reminder just to, you know, to, to approach these projects and because you guys always pull through and just dedicate so much towards them. So mm -hmm. I just think you're, just seeing your dedication is always really inspiring and things like that. And also when we leave things in your hands, mm. sometimes that's a little bit mm. um, 
nerve-wracking. I'm like, I don't know where this is going <laughs> yeah. to go. Are these, are these guys going to pull it off? You know, um, but um, yeah, it's really lovely to see how you work together mm -hmm. and we're able to pull it off just because we just allowed you to yeah. to have that freedom as well. Yeah. You know, we don't get that in the classroom so much, do we? Did we achieve what you'd hoped that we would achieve? Yeah, I think you did. It's, there's always struggles along the way, like with any project, with I think um, the amount of hours we put in and the dedication and refinement, I think we all hopefully learned um, lots of valuable, um, not only art making skills, but just like, like you know, ideas of uh, perseverance and resilience and um, they're all really important, like life skills to take.